Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Nitro Racing League here on the channel. We had a bit of an off week so we are back now here two weeks later getting ready to go green at Chicago Land Speedway for, for the first time this season. I actually qualified on pole so a bit surprised by that but of course very happy with that. This race is 130 laps so the checkered is when we hit lap 1 131. Stage 1 and 2 are both 30 laps each so stage 1 ends when we hit lap 31. Stage 2 ends when we hit lap lap 61 very straightforward here today only a few races remaining already in the regular season so we're running out of time for the playoffs and whatnot but of course we're already locked in so there's nothing for us to worry about or the car behind me there of the 14 of matt finally found out his actual first name it's another matt there's i don't know how many mats in the nitro racing league we have more on the i racing side of things as well it's unbelievable how many mats we have here in Nitro, but we had a nice commanding lead right off the bat in this race, but it didn't last very long because out of turns two on lap four, I make a mistake. I hit the outside wall, allow Matt to go by on the inside in the 14, so we would drop back down into the second position, but it wasn't long until Matt made a mistake. He hit the apron through turns one and two on lap six, and then he hits the wall just like I did. So now I have momentum, and I look to the inside, and now down this back straight away towards turns three. We're going to take the lead right back here from that number 14 as Venom in the 24 would move up into that second position and then by the time it came to lap 12 we were closing in on putting the 21 car lap down and that was simply because there was the two separate single car incidents behind us that had happened and as you guys know in Nitro single car incidents do not bring out a caution there has to be two cars at least together in the same accident to bring out a yellow flag so we stayed green we put the 21 a lap down there as he was just barely in the way of the 24 of venom so now we come through to lap 20 of 31 in stage one and now the number 14 of matt had actually got back up into the second position and i knew he had a lot of speed and he was the one i was really concerned about here in stage one it wasn't long at all until he would actually get to the back of me. I make a mistake right there. I clipped the apron in the center of one and two and slide up the track. And now uh, the number 14 was able to get closer and closer here in the closing laps of this first and opening stage. Now to five laps to go. You can see Matt was right on my back bumper as we go down towards turns one. I kind of defend right here to the inside to make sure he can't get there. And then right here, I'm actually able to pull a gap on him through the center of one and two just a little bit. And that gave me a little bit of comfort here, but he was still, of course, right there within reach here in these final five laps of this first and opening stage. Now lap 27 into turn three, we pull a big gap away now as I think he just made a mistake on entry and got too much on the brakes trying to not hit me in the back bumper. So that really kind of ended it right there for the time being in stage one So now coming straight through to the final lap of the stage now the fuel light had come on And I didn't think about the part where I hadn't been drafting all of stage one whatsoever So now I'm realizing it might be very close here on field to get to the end of this first stage with half a lap to go I kind of expected I was gonna be okay, but we're about to find out as we go down into turns three and four a Dominant stage one for us here so far in Chicagoland now as we come through out of turns four for the final time here in stage one and actually sure enough we're gonna run out of field down the front straight away the 14 of Matt gets us at the line and there's the caution right there and we end up getting second after dominating everything there in stage one so as you could imagine I was a little bit frustrated and annoyed by that but we would come into the pit lane choose the inside for the choose cone Matt chose the top after winning stage one and then he misses a shift on the restart and well we go right back to the lead here in Chicagoland so uh, very fortunate that I didn't choose the same line as him because if he would have chose the bottom made that mistake well it would have been the outside going and we would have been down to fourth fifth maybe even sixth place you can see Matt uh, Mahu fell way behind there on that restart because of that incident uh, there happening on the restart now as we go down into turn three it was now our teammate of jonathan up the inside of venom in the 24 to take second place away and that number 20 cars to come through out of turns four jonathan having a strong season as well now with second season in the nitro racing league as you guys remember stage two comes to an end when we hit lap 61 so we were doing a good job right here in stage two uh just holding on to the lead but there was actually a crash behind us with multiple cars so that would end up bringing out the caution we would come through to cross the line here as we do race it back in today's episode for a caution because we had more than 16 people unfortunately on the pit line i lose the lead we actually dropped down to p3 from the choose cone and whatnot so we were behind jonathan here for the restart 
Venom there in the 24 just behind myself now as we go down towards turns one up the inside of the 18 there of Bryce and then a slip up from Jonathan hitting the apron and that opens the door wide open for myself to go back up the inside. So both of these restarts where we've lost the lead so far something's happened to allow us to get right back to the lead going down into the next few corners. So I was pretty happy with that to be now up into the lead again as we exit turns four and now the number 24 Venom has a huge run here with some draft through the trial on the apron so I was not letting him get up the inside he tries right here to go up my inside I said not happening I block him right down to that apron and then he actually makes contact with the 18 of Bryson it turns one that was kind of my fault kind of forcing him into the corner in an awkward way but I wasn't going to be taken advantage of into the corner like that so uh, we hold on to the lead and then we actually open up a good gap here with 13 laps to go or so in stage two it was now Matt O'Brien the league owner there in the 19 car who had gotten up into the runner up position but just the way the racing was here, positions are just shuffling back and forth constantly now. So you never really knew what was going on. The only thing that wasn't really changing was myself as well as Matt, uh, the Mahu Matt, up here in the top two, three all the time in this race now as we were closing in towards the final 10 laps of this second stage. And then uh, we come through to five laps ago. Mahu in the 14 once again had gotten to second place, but he was a little bit too far back at this point to be able to run myself down. And at this point, we had also gotten uh, the... Most of the pit setup in this car so I was pretty happy with how it was driving it felt really good and now we cut straight through to the final lap here in stage two the 14 just didn't quite have enough time to be able to run us down and at this point I just felt like the car was running so good I don't think he was even gonna get to me here in stage two we had now cut it down to about 1.1 seconds right at the end of this run I was starting to loosen up quite a bit so I was thinking about making a wedge adjustment on the pit lane to tighten up the car just a little bit more than what it already was because like I said it was just starting to slip and slide out of the corners and specifically out of turns two and four obviously now so we come through to cross the line here to win stage two pick up a playoff point uh, we would come back to the pit lane take two cans of fuel as well as four fresh tires and get ready to go green here for the start of stage three so uh we come through and lose the lead to the 14 we beat out the nine of andrew wisdom easily and he doesn't pass us till well after the exit but he decides to take second place anyways i'm not sure what happened there but i didn't feel like arguing with him so i just said all right let's just move on with our day and just try and pass him here on the restart so we get back underway here for the start of stage three the 19 of matt o'brien there on the outside leading the way for that outside line wasn't a great restart for him it's very hard to get a good restart on the inside on the outside but I would immediately get to the inside of Andrew down this back straight away here so down towards turns three though he's of course got a fast car and when you're up here you can make the outside work a little bit better than most when you got a really fast car and Andrew had just that now as he exit turns four so he would remain side by side as now uh, Matt in the 14 trying to drive away with us battling behind him now as we also have our two teammates of Matt O'Brien and Jonathan going at it behind us here in the number 19 and the 20 car but out of turn, so we have that bit of an advantage over Andrew Wisdom on the exit of the corner, but not quite enough to get clear. I knew by the time we go through turns three and four, we would be able to get clear of him. And he's going to fight hard into the corner, but you can see right here, out of turns four, we're going to clear him. So we would run down now uh, the 14, and out of turns four, he actually gets into the outside wall, and then I got into the back of him, so that kind of destroyed the momentum. But I cut down to the apron in time with still a little bit of momentum on my side, and that would allow me to now get back out in front of the 14 of Matt there and take the lead away as we came through out of turns two and then things kind of settled down from this point on here from now probably lap 69 all the way towards the 80s or so but i'm still going to show a little bit of bits of what was going on in lap 74 we were having a just commanding lead and now actually i make a mistake right there through turns three and four but we were still able to hold on to the lead no problem uh but second place was belonging to jonathan andrew was in p3 and what started happening was they started going at it back and forth so they were getting frustrated with each other i'm sure uh and that was allowing me to pull away on lap 81 so now we were closing in though on some green flag pit stops and this race right here completely changes because there was a I would say like there's 20 drivers in this field there's probably 10 at least different strategies going on in this final third stage so you're gonna see it kind of 
coming into effect here very shortly. As you can already see, Matt Chaffee, he had made his pit stop. It wasn't until lap 92 that I had decided to come into the pit lane. So we would come out in front of Jonathan, or sorry, behind Jonathan, I mean. And the reason for that is because he decided he was going to take two tires. I took four tires, and so did the nine of Andrew Wisdom. So Jonathan was about nine seconds or so ahead of myself. So he was actually going to cycle out to the lead. Here was Jonathan's plan. He was going to take four tires on a pit stop here as soon as he could make it to the end on fuel and then try and run us all back down. So I caught on to this. You can see him pitting on lap 101. You can make it to the finish from here, which is, of course, at lap 131. So I decided, you know what? He's going to play this game. I'm going to come back into the pit lane five or so laps after him and put four tires on it as well to equal what he has done, but as well have the fresh tire advantage. And by the time it came to lap 106, I come in, make my pits up, put four tires on the car, and just try to now run down Jonathan, basically. Obviously, I didn't quite know if I was going to be able to get to him, but we had seen previously the effect that four fresh tires have just after a handful of laps, so I was confident. There you see Jonathan go by right there, so now we're in 18th, just hoping for no caution to come out, otherwise that will completely mess us over. And we come through a little bit later now, just over 20 laps to go, and Andrew Wisdom was leading the way, but he was about to make his pit stop as well quite a bit later than us, and he was only going to take two tires, while Jonathan and I have four tires. The 14 of uh, Matt Mahu, he had actually takes over the lead again. He still has to come into the pit lane, but he had an even more different strategy compared to all of us. But now on lap 115, out of turns four, we get to Jonathan. He decides to actually be really just generous about it. He just tells me to go. He moves out of the way. I go by on the inside with 15 laps remaining, and now we try to run down Andrew Wisdom. So right now we're going to cycle out in P3, basically. So the 14 of Mahu, his plan was to take no tires whatsoever and try to hold on to the the win here from Chicagoland. So now, as you can see, I'm clearly running down the nine of Andrew Wisdom very quickly, but less than 10 laps to go on the race at this point. So uh, we were running out of time. The 14 had made his pit stop now. So now you can see he was the next car in front of Andrew out of turn two on lap 125, coming to five laps to go. And we were cutting down the gap quite quickly to that number 14. But unfortunately, that would all come to an end. As soon as I caught the nine of Andrew Wisdom, I know he was going to be very tough to get around here, unfortunately. So he has every right to fight for second place, of course, but it was so frustrating because we were closing, 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 and then we had to fight the nine car. And once I got done fighting him, it just felt like I couldn't close that gap like I had previously been doing. So uh, it was now down to 1.3 seconds here as we came through the trioval, and we would get cleared just about into turns one. And sure enough, yes, we do pull off second place over Andrew there into turns one. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, like I said, that was it from that point on. So we come through approaching just the final few moments of this race and we had cut down the gap by the final lap to about 1.1 seconds but white flag would be in the air. Andrew had fallen off a little bit but he's still running P3 I believe. Jonathan was in fourth place. Uh, Matt, the number 14, I think he has one win or two wins so far. I honestly can't remember. I know he has at least one, but he leads the way down the back straight away into turns three for the final time here from Chicagoland Speedway. And sure enough, out of turns four, down the front straight away, it is going to be Matt, a.k.a. Mahu, in the 14 car coming through to pick up the victory in Chicago. A little bit disappointing because we obviously dominated this race, had the car to win, uh, and just unfortunately strategy didn't quite work out. Another five laps or so, maybe we could have gotten to him. Uh, but overall, just a little bit sad how it ended there. But now I'm going to show you guys the point standings on the screen after this race. So we're 36 points off of the lead, but that doesn't matter because we had the playoff reset coming up. So uh, that indeed was Matt's second win on the season. We still have surprisingly the most with three. And there's one heck of a points battle going on if we didn't have a playoff this season. But only two races left in the regular season, and that's at Darlington and Michigan. It's going to get very interesting. Of course, I'd like to say thank you to the going racing members of MJ, Joseph9001, Timothy Arline, Bubba. But Jr., Brett Derward, Dark Gengar Gaming, AJ Vasura, Russell Dixon, Kenneth Barnett, Dana 9302, King Matt XL, as well as Jacob Murray. I appreciate you guys' support so, so much. And if everybody enjoyed, you know what to do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.